Hello, today I'll show you how to track your expenses and break them down into categories in Apple Notes. Let me show you how. I'm a big fan of tracking expenses as an easy but extremely important first step towards being aware of and, and controlling how much you spend. For many people, the simple act of recording their expenses and calculating a monthly total will be enough to get a really useful picture of where their money goes. And in fact, in, I released in the past an automation that did just that. But once you get into the habit of tracking your expenses and calculating the total, you may want to go one level down and start breaking your total down into categories. So I've created a new version of my original shortcut that does just that. It calculates the total by categories. Now, I'll show you how to use it and I'll give you some suggestions to make it successful. By the way, the shortcut can be downloaded for free. Just follow the link in the description of this video. So the first step is to create a note that you will use to track your expenses. You give it a name and then you do the most difficult thing. You commit to recording all your expenses for a month. And every time you record an expense, you need to use and you need to do it in the same format so that the automation can identify the relevant bits of information. The format is this. You start with the day of the month, which is a number. Then you add a description of what you spent your money on. Then you add a category, which is a single word. And finally, the amount. And I recommend you round up the numbers. So not only because this is quicker, but also because the automation may not work with decimals. After a while, maybe at the end of the month, you may have a file that looks like this one. So as you can see, the way it works is actually quite simple, but there are a few gotchas. So before we get into using the shortcut, let me give you a few suggestions. Tip number one, the most difficult bit of this whole process is by far getting into the habit of recording your expenses and to do it consistently. So keep the note as simple as you can and make it easy to access, maybe by adding a shortcut on your home screen. To add that shortcut, you do this, you tap and hold on your home screen, then you choose to add a widget, then you scroll down until you, file, um, until you find Apple Notes and then sweep to select a single note. Once that appears, you click on the icon and on its back, you can click and choose your expenses note. And from now on, when you click on that icon, your note will be open for you so you can Im immediately start recording your expense. Now, the other suggestion is to try and record your expenses as soon as you make them and aim to do this in less than five seconds. So it has to be very quick. The second suggestion is about categories. Don't go overboard with them. If you create too many categories, your breakdown will be too detailed and you will lose track of the big picture. I think 10 or 12 categories is probably the right number. The other problem with too many categories is that you may struggle to remember them. And I actually suggest that you create a table in a separate note in which you list your categories and with a description of what goes in which category. Third suggestion is about conflicts. On occasion, you'll have expenses that could fit into uh, two categories. You may not even remember the last time you had an expense like that where you placed it. So in that case, you refer back to your categories table and maybe update it so that you will be clear in the future what goes where. Number four is about descriptions. And this is a little trick. The automation is built in a way that will take the last item in a line and we'll consider that to be the amount and the item before that as a description. So if you use a single word for description, that will be used as your category. This way, for example, you can record an expense such as groceries just by using the single word grocery, and that will be picked up as a category. At this point, you can launch the shortcut and you go to share, click on the shortcut, and then let it process the file for a few seconds. Of course, the longer it is, the longer it takes to process. The total for the month and the breakdown by category will appear in this little box. And at this point, as you can see, you can tap on cancel to close it, or you can click OK to have the breakdown copy to your clipboard so you can paste it somewhere else to save it, maybe in a spreadsheet. So you can perform additional analysis, such as tracking your expenses by category over time, over a year. Remember, this shortcut is available for free, so check the link in the description below and let me know how you get on with it. I hope you find this, um, you found this useful. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.